Okay, if you're using a block theme like 2025, you won't see menus. Instead, under appearance, you'll see editor. Okay, so if you didn't see the menu option under appearance and you saw editor instead, no worries. I've just opened up my full site editing demo site to show you how to edit a navigation menu using the full site editor, which is what you've got. So if you went over to appearance and saw the editor, just click on that. And then that's in your full site editor here. And over here on the right is what you can currently see on your site. And you'll see up here, there's a navigation menu. And this menu for this demo site has been created from just the latest pages that I've been added to the site. I haven't got very many because obviously it's a demo site, but I've got an about and contact page that I've added to the site. And also a sample page was added when the site was first spun up. So how do we edit this? Well, we just click on this header section right here. That's going to open the full site editor for this. And then you can see it's highlighting the, the header section. If I click on it, it will go into the header options and we can choose to change the style of the header if we want. We're not going to do that in this video. What we're going to do is hover over the navigation menu right here, click on that. And now you can see we've got the settings here on the right hand side. And you can see we've got a navigation menu settings here where we can click on the edit button to edit the navigation menu. We're going to do that. Now that's changed to the navigation menu settings. And if we hover over any of the items, you'll see that we can select them. So we've currently got the navigation menu selected and we've got the toolbar for that. If we go over to the item, we can click on that item and we'll see a different toolbar for that item. So for the about page right here, we can see the settings on the right hand side as well. So you can change the text for that item if you want to. So you can call it something else. So you can call it about us. You can change the link that that menu item links to as well. And if you want to change any of the typography settings and things like that, you can do that in those settings as well. We just focus on the toolbar here for a second. We want to add sub menu items. So a drop down to this item right here that we've got selected. There's a sub menu button within the toolbar that you can click on that and then you can start adding other pages to it. And you can see there's a little drop down arrow there to signify that you're starting to add pages, sub pages to this menu item. Now we've currently got about us contact and sample page. I'll just click back on this settings right here. So go back to the navigation menu settings. You'll also see that a way to add more pages and items to this navigation menu is the add block button here, very similar to when you're editing your site in general. You just click on that, then it gives you a quick and easy way to add more pages to your navigation menu. That way you can search for them if you've got a lot of pages and you can start adding them as you want as well. If you want to remove an item from the navigation menu, you can do that by clicking on that item. Just make sure it's selected, then click on the three dots and then click delete. That's going to remove that item from the navigation menu. If you want to add a custom URL to this menu, there's another way that you can add menu items. So if you click on the menu right here, you'll see under the navigation menu settings, which you've seen a bit before, under menu, there is an add block button here as well. If I open that up, it then shows you the additional things that you can add to this menu. So not just page links, which is what we've just covered, but custom links, sub menu, buttons, page list, search, and a whole host more. Custom link, if we just click on that, you can see we get a temporary item added to the navigation menu. All you need to do is just type in the URL that you're going to link to. So like in the last example, I'll just link to YouTube. And then once you've added the URL, just hit enter. And then that's added that custom link to your menu. If you want to change the settings for that, you can click on the item right there and you can change the text. I'll change it to videos. And then that's added that into the navigation menu. If you want to reorder any of these items as well, just hover over them or click on them. Use the drag item in the toolbar to drag those into place. So it's very similar to the classic theme menu editor that I showed you earlier. It's just more to do with blocks and moving them around. Super easy, super simple. And then once you're happy with, with your menu, and you're happy with how it looks, just click the save right there. It'll ask you to save again, just click save again. And now that has been saved. And you've now edited 
your navigation menu. And we can head back to see that in the live view of the page as well. So you just built a clean, powerful navigation menu. Remember, you don't need a developer, you just need time, tutorials, and a little trial and error. So go test your live menu, tweak it, and own your site navigation. Drop a comment if you've got any questions or if you got stuck, and don't forget to subscribe for more WordPress tutorials. I've been Ryan, this is WP Beginner, and I'll see you in the next video.